What's going on guys, it's your boy Chemistry here, and to get the gameplay out of the way, it's a MOBE on C-Town with the ACR, two attachments, silencer, and extended mags. The rest of you guys can hopefully just figure out on your own, and yeah. So, let's talk about something that's a little bit close to my heart in regards to when it happened. So, I had bronchitis and pneumonia, and I've had it for like the past month, month and a half now. But this was, I guess, back a week or two ago, and uh, I went to the hospital. But, like, my mom's not one of those parents that rushes to the hospital. So we start out, and it was, like, a week or two. And I was, like, I couldn't go to school. I was just coughing, coughing, coughing. Couldn't get out of bed, tired, sore, all the stupid shit that happens when you get super sick. So we didn't go to the hospital at first, or the doctors for the first week. We just wanted to kind of play it out and see if it got better. So the first week was terrible, and obviously it didn't get better, if anything, it progressively got worse. And my mom was about to go away on vacation. Well, not vacation, a business trip. But, uh, yeah. So, week two rolls around, and she was supposed to leave, but she decided to stay home, obviously, to take care of me. So we go down to call my family doctor, and he's on vacation somewhere. And I was like, okay, cool, my family doctor is not here, and I'm super sick not gonna be great so we go to some like walk-in clinic bullshit and you know i get there and the lady's just like gonna do all those standardized tests like you know open your mouth say ah uh, let me check your ears for no apparent reason even though i don't have symptoms of my ears all that stupid shit that they always do and uh yeah <clears throat> so then the lady oh this is a good one the lady gets to the part where no one uh she puts the whatever thing the like I can't remember what it's called. That thing on your back until you like breathe in a few times. And uh, so that way she can like listen to your heart rate and shit. So that part rolls around and she puts it on my back and it's like breathe in deep. And so I was like, okay, so you breathe in and you breathe out. And you have to do that usually like three to five times. So like, but after every single time I would do it, she'd be like, mm-hmm. So it'd be like me breathe in, like I'd breathe in and I'd be like, mm-hmm. And then I'd do it again, mm-hmm. That it just went on like that for like and not only did I not have to do it three to five times I had to do it like 10 to 15 times so you just see this like Mexican lady just mm-hmm yes mm-hmm yes mm-hmm yes for like a good 10 minutes and finally she stops and I was like okay maybe she thought me what's wrong with me now and oh this is great she's like well I don't know what you have you don't have the symptoms of anything that I know I was like, wow, you're a doctor and you don't know what sickness I have. This is, this is going great. She's like, so I don't know how to help you. I was like, okay, so I came here and you're not going to help me. And she was like, no, I can help you. And I was like, okay, so what are you going to give me? And she was like, well, I don't know what you have, so I can't really help you well. I was like, okay, where's this conversation going? Are you going to help me or not? And she's like, okay, so I don't know what you have, but I'm just going to prescribe you this inhaler. I'm going to prescribe you this, 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 and that. I was like, so you don't know what I have? She's like, no. So why'd you give my medication? She's like, well, I'm hoping one of the things that I gave you might be able to help. I was like, oh, the faith I had in her. So instead of knowing what I have and giving me what I need, she doesn't know what I have and gave me like 10 prescriptions for like a whole bunch of random shit. And so we go to the pharmacy and there's like some like Asian lady who can't speak any fucking English. And I give her these prescriptions and she's asking me like, what's wrong with me? Because 10 prescriptions for one person is weird. And, uh, I just told her, like, I couldn't, like, I couldn't really even understand her. I think she was asking what's wrong with me, but she might have been asking me why I have a bad attitude, but I, I, I don't really know. So she went to fill my prescription. Now, if anybody here has ever had bronchitis, you know that once you start coughing, you can't stop coughing for like a good minute or two. So I'm just sitting there dying, sitting in there coughing. And all I want to do is get home, some watch some TV, lay down and stuff. And the girl filled my prescriptions. Maybe it's because there was like 10 prescriptions, or maybe it's because she can't read English, but it took her, no word of lie, like an hour and a half to go and fill my prescriptions, and I'm just sitting there coughing, 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 and that, <coughs> <coughs> wow, what a coincidence that that would happen. So, I was just sitting there coughing, and I finally get all 10 of my fucking prescriptions, and I get home, and they tell you like, eat something with it. So my mom makes me toast, so I was like, okay, fine, I eat it. And I had to, oh my god, this is brutal. I had to take two inhales from three and puffers, or three puffers, right? So 
there you go. Th uh, two inhales and three puffers. On top of, uh, I had to take one antibiotic, and I also had to take, like, one, like, flu medication or some shit. And so I did that for, like, a good week or two before my family doctor got in. Not only did I not get better, I actually, in fact, got worse after taking all that medication. So I'm getting worse, worse, and worse every single time. So I'm still out of school. This is, like, week three, and my doctor finally gets back to town. So we go to see him. And we're waiting in the emergency room, or not the emergency room, the waiting room. And I see, like, manually rebase sitting there. Like, 800 pound dude who can't, like, get up. And when he got up to go to the bathroom and walked back, he just, like, couldn't even breathe. And so that was, that was, at least that brightened up the situation. But I finally get into my doctor's, and, uh, he tells me that I have, this is, like, bad, uh, this is allergy symptoms. And I was like, allergies? I don't have allergies. And he's like, oh, well, maybe you just got them now. I was like, there's no way that that could be allergies. So he gave me, like, allergy medication, but obviously I didn't believe him. So I was like, okay, fuck it. So I didn't take that shit because I know that it, like, it makes your immune system even worse. So that way you can, like, fight off strawberries or whatever fucking stupid disease you have. And uh, so my mom's finally, finally, this is literally, like, week three, f almost a month now. She finally decides to take me to the hospital. Now, I absolutely hate hospitals, and probably everybody in the world hates hospitals. But we get to the hospital, and, you know, you wait for, like, three fucking hours. And this is, like, this is probably, like, the main point I wanted to make in my entire commentary was the fucking hospital wait times. And the reason that there's hospital wait times is because not, like, I don't want to be racist here, but, like, just to generalize how it always happens, there's always these fucking Indian people who have, like, 30 fucking kids and don't know how to, like, be parents yet, and the second their kid has, like, a fucking cough, they take him to, like, the hospital. Like, I was sitting next to this girl, and the reason that they were at the hospital is because she was running and ran into a fucking chair and didn't, like, she wanted to go to bed. Well, fuck, obviously she wanted to go to bed. It was, like, her bedtime. Dude, this shit was at fucking, like, 10 o'clock at night. She doesn't have a concussion. She walked into a chair, like, and on top of that, how stupid can you be to let your kid have a fucking, like, how do you run into a chair? Like, a stationary object? That's, like, like, you can use that joke. You're so fucking stupid, you walked into a parked car. Like, I don't understand how it happens. So finally, I get into, like, the doctor after, like, six fucking hours of wasting my time. And the doctor gets in after I had to get, like, chest x-rays. So that way to see if I had, like, pneumonia or something. And the symptoms, like, to know how you have pneumonia is if you have fluid in one of your lungs. Now, uh, he was like, I don't think you have pneumonia. I was like, okay. He's like, but you do have fluid on your left lung. I was like, I don't want to tell you to do your job here, sir. But fluid in your lungs, is that not pneumonia? And he's like, oh, well, it could be, but that's probably just, uh, it's probably just from you growing. I was like, okay, I'm not one of those kids that just grew really, really tall in a short period of time. Like, I'm six foot four, and I've been growing forever. Like, I'm not, I wasn't five foot, and I'm six foot four. It's not from growing, asshole. And he's like, well, I don't know what you have, and again, I can't help you, so, you know, just go home, drink some soup, uh, yeah, you know, eat some soup that kind of stuff i was like i don't know how these doctors can get like i don't know how they can get their phds or whatever the fuck you need to be a doctor like they don't know how to fix any of my problems ever like one time i had to get stitch i had to get stitches and because like i got hurt and my wrist was like pretty it was pretty much open like you could see inside my wrist and the doctor's like no no i don't think you need stitches you just need a band-aid I was like, buddy, if I needed a band-aid, I would have put a band-aid on, fag. Like, I obviously need stitches. It's not just going to regenerate itself. I can look inside of my wrist. And he's like, no, no, I, th I think a band-aid will do just fine. I was like, okay, I don't understand how you get to where you are in life thinking that a band-aid will suffice in this situation. Anyways, this commentary has kind of been a little bit ranty off topic, but... I guess the point I wanted to make throughout all of this, there's two points I wanted to make throughout all of this. Two, or one, I don't know why I said two first. Anyways, one, how do doctors get their, like, degree to be a doctor? Because nine times out of ten, they can't give, like, they can't help me, and they can't give me, like, the right medication, and they don't know what's wrong with me, and they, like, oh my god, they just don't give you the right advice, they don't tell you what to do properly. They just pretty much say you can drink soup and become, like, fucking, like, healed. Like, no, I'm not, like, soup is not Jesus. You can't just become healed because you drank some fucking chicken noodle soup that your mom made out of a can. And point number two, 
not just brown parents, but mostly brown parents, keep your kids home when they run into fucking chairs. So that way, because I'm legitimately sick, I can actually get my treatment. Not your fucking kid gets, uh, go home and drink some fucking soup because you ran into a chair and you're retarded and you're not going to make it anywhere in life. Anyways, this commentary is coming to an end. And yeah, so this has been your boy Chemistry. I'm out.